Going ahead to graph this one, we have our velocity time graph. Notice we have our axes labeled. The units are in parentheses. We have it labeled with units in parentheses. We know that we are going from 0 to 10, and we're just doubling our input. So if we go ahead and graph this, we're going to start out at 0 when you plug in 0. And then at 10, you're going to get out 20. So it's just a diagonal line with a slope of 20. So now when we go ahead and take a look at the next one here, which is here, it says between 10 and 20, we're always at a height of 20. So we're going to have a horizontal line right here. So now when we go ahead and take a look at the last one, right here, it says between 20 and 30, which is the next units on our uh, graph, we are using this. So if we plug in 20, we get negative uh, 2 times 20, which is negative 40, plus this, which is 20. Plug in 30, you get 0. So you have the point at 20, 20, and at 30, you're back down at 0 again. So for the most part here, we are looking at a trapezoid. Now, you're asked for the most part, what does the area underneath your curve look like? Well, what I would do is, for the most part, just draw myself a little rectangle and try to find the units of that rectangle, because that would be the easiest. The left side has feet per second. The right side has units of seconds. So when you do feet per second times seconds, the seconds drop, leaving you with feet. So your area underneath your curve is representing distance measured in feet. Now it wants you to calculate the area. You could look at this as one big trapezoid with your one base being from 0 to 30 of 30 and your other base being up here in the blue, which is 10, with your height going all the way from 0 all the way up to 20. Or you could break it into a triangle for the green part. You could tr break it into a trapezoid. And you could break it into a, or not a trapezoid, a rectangle. And then you could break it into a triangle for the orange part. And in this case, you get 400 units. In this case, it's 400 feet. Because that's a unit of measure or units of distance for our problem. So how does this relate to your position graph? Well, it's 400 feet is your position after 30 seconds.